With spring here, now is the perfect time to pull out your wet and dry vacuums. Today I've taken delivery of the Sealy 60 litre high end model and also the Sealy 10 litre lower end model to show the power of cleaning using a wet and dry vacuum. The high end model is big and I would say it would be most suited for more larger gardens. This is because it obviously has a 60 litre stainless steel drum and this wet and dry vacuum will hold a lot. It would be a perfect size if you were draining the rest of your inflatable hot tubs or pools. It comes with a really long hose, vacuum brush and heads and a large squeegee which also fits into the clip on the accessories tool tidy. It has a draining hose which makes draining out any water so simple and this is a feature I love. Now my wet and dry vac is set up, let's get ready to see its power. First, let's tackle the annoying pine needles. So when it comes to being outdoors, especially over the autumn and winter season, a lot of us would have had a lot of debris, leaves, pine needles, anything like that going onto our patios. And this is a really nice, simple, quick way to lift them up. You can also go ahead and use the wet and dry vac to get rid of any cobwebs on any furniture you might have. You can use it for your drains if you want as well to get rid of any leaves that might be stuck there. And as you can see here, I'm now tackling the pine needles. So if you have large stones, this is gonna come in really handy because the tool is so slim, it's not gonna suck up the stones, but it will remove the pine needles. To do this by hand, it's gonna take you absolutely forever. So this is a brilliant device to do this with. We've collected so far. And now let's tackle some of the wet spillages outside in the garden. So this is one of the children's inflatables from the hot tub. It easily removes any water that is on the inflatables. Like I said earlier, you can also use this to get rid of any extra water that is in the hot tub because you do want to make sure when cleaning a hot tub that it is completely dry before you store it away. You can also use this on the decking, which I'm doing here on our decking. And again, it's just really good for taking away that extra moisture that is in your garden. Now let's press on to the car. So having a wet and dry vac is not only great for cleaning the outside of your home, but it also is great for the car. The downside to the high end model is it does not have a blower, however, the lower end model does, and I would say if you are looking to get a wet and dry vacuum with its main purpose being for the car, then the lower end model would be an ideal one to go for. is powerful and is absolutely perfect when it comes to getting rid of those annoying watermarks that are left after you wash your car. 
Normally I have to spend quite some time using a chamois cloth to make sure the watermarks are gone. However, this nifty little blower does the job for me. I just wanted to show you guys one of my biggest bugbears. Now normally I would use my indoor vacuum for this, but I wanted to show you the Sealy vacuum on this just to show you the power of it. Luna's pet fur drives me insane. She refuses to sleep in her multiple cat beds that we have got her and she has decided these chairs are her home. But as you can see from what I'm doing now, it really does pick all the fur up. So I was actually really surprised with the lower end model as to how powerful it is. Both of them are really powerful, but I didn't think the smaller one was going to pack much of a punch, but it actually does. As you can see here, it is lifting all of Luna's fur off the chair effortlessly. looking for wet and dry vacs over the spring cleaning season then I've added the links for both of these in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed the vlog guys. If you did go ahead and smash the like button and if you are new here click subscribe. As always team until next time keep it clean. Love you lots.